Good afternoon. I'm Chris Brown. I'm the tight ends and tackles coach at Southern University. This is the 24th, yes, 24th episode of Trill O Line Play, where today we're going to be talking about the base block. Okay, so thank you guys so much for locking in, tuning in to discuss some offensive line play with me. All right, so just a brief overview of what exactly we're going to be talking about with the base block. First, what schemes do we use the base block in? What's the technique that we use uh, here at Southern University when we're using the base block? Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you two game clips from the fall of our uh, right guard, Jonathan Bishop, and our center, uh, Dallas Black, doing an outstanding job of working their basic technique, as well as a conclusion. We're going to wrap it up with our nugget of the week. So thank you guys so much just for locking in with me. So what is the base block? First of all, scheme-wise, we love to use the base block in our downhill run scheme. If I'm running inside zone, if I'm running some duo stuff, if it's anything where it's a mono e mono one-on-one block and I have a technique where I'm pretty much by myself, I want to use this base block technique, all right? So the first thing, after, of course, a great stance, which is in some previous episodes of Trill O-Line Play, I want to teach landmarks, all right? I want these guys to know what their landmarks are. So the base landmark, usually, if I'm a left guard and I have a tight three technique, is the inside V of the neck as far as where I want my hat placement to be, all right? As far as steps in their landmarks, we go by departure angle, which is our first step where we get our hip in phase with the block and where we're going and the direction that we need to go in to execute our base block. So that's a short three inch step, that departure angle step where it's big toe on pinky toe. All right, it's a three inch step where I got to put my foot in position to put my big toe on the pinky toe of that defender. My contact phase is my second step where I'm getting it on the inside foot of that defender. All right, so it's big toe, pinky toe, second step inside foot when we're talking about a base block or an inside zone block or a duo mono e mono block. So those are the landmarks that we teach our guys, all right? The punch detail is the tricep punch. Of course, we've talked about this uh, multiple times here on Trillo line play. It's a short, it's, my landmark is under the armpits of the defender. I'm striking for my triceps. I'm shooting up in a forklift motion to execute my base block uh, punch detail, all right? And I got to make sure I time up my punch well. I'm protecting my chest, which is why I always advocate and teach a tricep punch. All right, when I'm talking about the the, uh, the the base block and run scheme. All right, so leverage is another very, very, very important thing. That's why you see us use drills like the, the four point of contact, the six point of contact, drills where we're exploding from our hips, where we're using our hands and exploding out so we can get underneath the pads and lift the defender up is why leverage is so important in the base block because it's mano a mano and you have to win the leverage battle because usually strength cancels out. So leverage and base is very, very, very important when you're trying to execute a base block, all right, in your mano e mano run scheme, all right? So also leg drive and finish. You have to block into the echo of the whistle. You have to be able to refit your hands on a base block. You have to be able to drive your defender into the ground on the base block. And you have to have a nasty, violent attitude when you're executing a base block to finish the playoff and finish that defender off into the ground, okay? So this is our right guard right here, Jonathan Bishop, first team All-American, first team all swat, uh, right guard right here working and executing our base block. Again, we talk about landmarks. Inside via the neck is the landmark. My departure angle is big toe on pinky toe. All right, my contact phase step, is my second step is on the inside foot of that defender. And I want to drive that defender at a 45 degree angle. So we're working inside zone right here to the right. He has a, a loose three technique right here. Let's look at Jonathan does a great job. Big toe, pinky toe, second step inside foot. He explodes. We talked about six point of contact. He explodes out. And, and brings his hips with him and starts driving and taking that defender for a ride because he's being violent. He has the leverage and he finishes the playoff leg drive and finish. That's an outstanding job. All right. By Jonathan Bishop working a base block. All right. So this is another base block here by Dallas black, our center. All right. So we're working inside zone here to the left and Dallas has a, a loose one technique or two eye basically that he's responsible for blocking in this scheme. Does a great job taking his what big toe pinky toe step getting his second step inside and he's running his feet on contact violently all right great landmark inside via the net great tricep punch great job here by dallas black here creating a huge run crease and understanding what the base block is here at southern university okay so conclusion conclusion thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to discuss offensive line play with me the nugget of the week here is life is a one-day contract life is a one-day contract okay so when we're talking about that, what we're saying is you only get one day at a time to focus on. Don't worry about yesterday. All right. Don't worry about tomorrow. Sufficient of the days is enough trouble. Enough trouble. That's in the Bible. So just 
focus in on doing all that you can today to get towards the dreams and goals that you have. All right. Subscribe on the YouTube channel. Our Trillo line play. The following is picking up. The subscribing is picking up. The videos are getting a lot better. Um, and then follow me on social media, uh, preferably Twitter at Coach Brown72, where we really dive in uh, pretty much every day. I'm posting something about offensive line play. All right. So thank you guys so much, so, so, so much. Uh, keep supporting.